Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with another Firewall Zero Hour News Update. This one is all about the recent developer stream that Dion the Director streamed a few days ago over on the official First Contact Entertainment YouTube channel. Now he's taken over from Firewall Frank, who of course recently got married all the way over in Italy. So big congrats to Frank and his missus. So Dion did an official developer stream over on the First Contact Entertainment YouTube channel and I will link that in the description below. And this was a very special stream because they actually showed off a lot of the brand new map which I believe is called Fake News and I'll have that gameplay running in the background now for you to look at. But let's go over the basics first of all. So Fake News will very likely be coming in the next operation along with another map which I think is going to be the tanker ship that's out at sea map. But you can expect those maps to get a staggered release like with Hangar and Fob. So Fob released halfway through Operation Nightfall so you can probably expect the one with the tanker out at sea to release halfway through whatever the next operation is going to be. So we're currently in week 7 of Operation Nightfall and we know that the operation will last for 12 weeks total so in about 5 weeks time you can expect to be playing this brand new fake news map. So what about the map itself? Well fake news takes place in a new station, it's all interiors, it has this nice red, grey and black colour scheme going on, it looks very sleek and modern and it appears to be a pretty decent sized map too, maybe not as sprawling as FOB but it has plenty of unique areas including a backstage waiting area for guests I think, there's a large studio itself complete with seats for an audience as well as a bullpen office area for news reporters to use and a large reception area as well. So you're going to have a mix of tight corridors, maybe some surprise encounters and a couple of longer range arenas in this map. One thing that caught my attention when I was watching this stream is that there appears to be an also small quality of life improvement where there's now a little icon that floats above doors even before you get within range of them so you know that that door can be interacted with. It's just a small little door icon, not a big deal but it's there so something I thought I'd point out. One moment I found interesting in this stream was when Dion started off in a spawn location that was right behind the studio stage itself and in just a few seconds an enemy was on him. So this map could be strong for those teams who like to immediately break forward with double time equipped and catch the enemy with their pants down. It reminded me of Compound before they changed the starting positions on that map. Now I know Russian is a bit of a sore subject among the community with some people feeling like it takes the tactical approach out of the game and rewards maybe some Call of Duty style play instead. But on the other hand, it is a valid tactic so I don't know. One other thing that might be worth mentioning was that any time a match ended and the game was going to the menus, First Contact Entertainment put up a static overlay to hide that. Likely because their developer build menus show things that they don't want us to see just yet. But for a brief moment, the overlay does slip too soon, I think, and you can see the loadouts. And one of the loadouts is called Seasonal. That's not something we've ever seen before. It could mean absolutely nothing. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, that's really all I can say about this map right now. I really like the look of it. I can't wait to hop in and get to grips with it myself because watching it being streamed is one thing, but actually playing it is very different, as I'm sure most of you are aware by now. Before before I end this video, let me give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thanks to their generosity, the quality of my content will increase as I get new equipment and whatnot. And of course, let me give a huge shout out to Mr. Crumb himself, as he is on the top $10 tier over on Patreon. So thank you, Crumb. I really do appreciate that. If you would like to become a Patreon, then I'll have the link in the description below. You can also help by buying a t-shirt if you don't want to do that Patreon stuff. And of course, you can simply help me out for free the old fashioned way by liking and commenting and sharing and all that good stuff. Finally, thank you to Decepticon for continuously allowing me to use his music in my videos. So check him out over on Decepticon.com for some dope beats. That's it for this video, lads and ladies. I will leave you with these harrowing words from Dion the Director. Pray for First Contact Entertainment. Bye for now. Yeah, you're gonna touch my tip, whether you like it or not. Okay. Uh,